it would be good for people to take notes. And from the notes that they take to review them. Review the notes that you've taken that week like a, like a school project. If you take notes and zikr ends Saturday and now you fully just go back to dunya, by Thursday it seems like you're on a like a whole new page where the consistency of the learning or the depth of the learning we don't know, Allah knows best that if the students learn, they take their notes, they study those notes throughout the week, by Thursday, Friday, Saturday they should have questions regarding those teachings. Otherwise they just keep going to new subject, new subject, new subject and we don't know if those people understood those subjects because the questions they're asking they're maybe not based on what was being taught. Internally we'll devise a system in which to categorize the questions much more thoroughly so that every question coming in from help me from any of the platforms we have to put and index them, prioritize them and then understand which ones to ask, which ones are not appropriate to ask. But also for those whom are taking their notes, this is a classroom towards realities that as they take the notes, study them for that week so that we go back, refresh and say, did I really understand that? That's why they summarize. Oh, the huruf was the salah, this was this, this. So, so many different subjects even with the questions and answers. And as a result of studying through the week by Thursday, Friday they have a, a good understanding of what they want to go deeper into or clarify in that reality inshaAllah. But it seems like by Saturday many people just shut off and the rest of the week is to do whatever they want to do and then by Thursday it's like restarting again and, and trying to reconnect and figure out what we're going to, to sort of uh, teach about. But if we all keep that subject going and keep that understanding inshaAllah maybe something of a deeper reality can take place so that these subjects can go deeper and deeper inshaAllah. What we got for today? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nur John. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Wa Alaikum As Salaam Sayyidi, in reference to your talk about not hearing the complaints, uh, problem, I want to ask that as a, being a medical professional, we have to listen to too much about health related complaints and their social issues. Moreover, we have to examine them too. What should be done to minimize the energy related effects? Yeah, that's a, the nature of that occupation. So anyone dealing with, with people and, and their medical and mental issues, it's going to be then a strong understanding of your taweez, your wudu, your salatul wudu, not to lose your wudu so that you at least have a shield of protection while dealing with people. The process of, of intake can be people writing, 
So I know a lot of sort of higher tech people have an intake process that they can do through an app and the patients will be asked a lot of questions ahead of time and a lot of writing in advance and that way that those questions can be reviewed by the doctor and not a system of the patient opening up their energy and trying to describe everything wrong in their life. And it also keeps a discipline so that the, a time discipline. If you allow people to talk, they'll talk for an hour of every type of issue and problem and they don't stop because also shaitan encourages them and, and to keep complaining. So it's, it's a better matter of a balance on what people can do and how to put as much of it for intake and writing so there's not an open dialogue of person sort of pushing all their energy, their grief and sadness and concerns out to limit and then the ability of people to keep their spiritual protection inshaAllah through the, these activities and, and through their interactions with people inshaAllah. Uh, as salaamu alaykum shaykh Wa alaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah Sayyidi, some of the tariqah teachings are very advanced that may go beyond our understandings. How do we get to the level where we understand them? Yeah, that's good to hear because they are advanced. <laughs> that take your notes and read those notes. That's why we have a feeling that it's just we're throwing these sort of diamonds out and we're not getting an understanding back. So these are deep, deep, deep realities that the students if they write them, spend the week reviewing them so that also to keep themselves from becoming heedless over the week and just fully going into their dunya and their material world and review them and review and then come up with some questions and how do I achieve this and what was the reality of this roof and how do I dress myself with this. So much that can be understood when it's not then it's clearly a sign for us it just went over everybody. And then we went straight back to you know what's the color or the best color of a rock and how to hold the rock which is not a bad question but it's not related to three weeks of deep teaching. If we met some group new for the first time and everybody entered the room and they have those types of questions it's not a problem. But when eight months of deep, deep realities are coming out then it's kind of the thought process is maybe the students are not understanding it, not writing it, studying it which clearly needs to be studied because they're not easy subjects. So inshaAllah we just give advice and see what people want to do if they want to go deeper. But I know that the questions and answers help a lot of people who are listening because they email that. The, the questions are asked that maybe they didn't want to ask or but they needed to ask and they're benefiting from the answers. But there would be a lot more benefit if people studied their notes throughout the week so that they can get a, a, a stronger grasp of what was said and what was… what needed to be understood inshaAllah. As salaamu alaykum respected Mawlana Wa alaykum as salaam uh, uh, Mawlana what can we do if our accounting shows endless list of bad characters and makes us depressed just looking at it? Alhamdulillah make istighfar that the accounting is important. So that, that shows us the sickness otherwise to be heedless of our sickness then we just go about that sickness into the grave. So it's Allah's rahmah and mercy for us to identify these characteristics. Then we know what we're supposed to be working on and taking an inventory of ourself and it's a humbling for the self when, when the, I, I identify with my nafs what my character issues are. Because my nafs is fooling me to think I'm good and I'm fooling myself to hide it. But when we both do the inventory and accounting and hisab, I can see, no I'm not that good and that my nafs is tricking me and fooling me. So it brings about a humility for the servant. And then they ask Allah 
the Maghfirah and asking forgiveness from the Divinely Presence for those characteristics, continuous. So now they're more targeted because you're specifically asking on this subject, this subject, this subject, Ya Rabbi please forgive me and don't let this to repeat and give me good character. Not to complain, not to complain, to be patient, to, to have all these good characteristics. And to take away issues within their, their being that they don't think they know that they have. So people have, have a hasad that they think somebody got something they didn't get. Somebody got the better ones and they didn't get those good ones. So put the good ones aside so I can get them. These are characteristics that come out in tariqahs so people can understand what hasad is. That why, why you need the better one? Why do you care who got the good one? Why are you looking to what somebody else got and not just focus on what you got? So these are all these characteristics that people have. If at night they should go back and meditate and say, oh why did I say that? Why, why did I complain about that? So that, that shows there's something wrong in my characteristic. Why I have to have the, the, the better one and put these good ones aside and why that person took this and I took this. These are not the good characteristics. So this is important and that's why the inter, interaction and why the shaykhs are bringing it up so that we can find where we're going wrong and what the characteristics that are wrong about this behaviour. As soon as we find it's wrong then we try to fix it and make it to be better inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Shaykh Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah I must say this is a fear as a newcomer to Islam. How to know who is who when everyone makes claims? I'm using intuition but can't afford to be wrong anymore. Who's who? About what? There's Allah, that's it. <laughs> And Sayyidina Muhammad And if you're following this channel then there's your shaykh, that's it. Atiya Allah, Atiya Rasul wa ulul amri minkum. The rest you don't need to know. So follow the who, right? Who's who? Follow the who. The people of Hidayat and their guidance is with love. That's it. You don't have five guides on YouTube to follow, so that doesn't make sense. There's not five people around you that you're supposed to be following, nothing. You follow Allah that this is what Allah commanded. We follow the way of Muhammadun Rasulullah. So the sharia and the way and the sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad and the ulul am that my shaykh that Allah has guided me to. As long as he's following Allah and Rasulullah and that's it, I don't need to follow anyone else, don't need to listen to anyone else, don't need to have any advice from anyone else. And as a matter of fact everything will confuse me if I do because everyone's at a different level. So you may come in day one at a very high level based on the opening within the heart of the servant. You don't compare notes, you don't have to do nothing, you just make your connection, do your learning, watch the videos, read the articles. If you have a concern with adab like, should I say like this, should I do like that then you can ask the channel or ask help me at nurmuhammad.com. So we made everything very, very easy. But the difficulty is when people want to start involving everyone, talk to this friend, talk to that friend, go to the masjid and ask 10 questions. My goodness you'll be flipped upside down. InshaAllah Allah guide and, and help you through this uh, guidance, it should be very easy inshaAllah. Uh, as Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi. Walaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah When the shaykh brings the servants to his door, 
would every servant have specific access to the present and is it a unique path? Thank you, Sayyidi. Unique in the sense that Allah has spiritually dressed for each servant their own tajallis. But does each one have their own private zikr and private do this, do that? No. So that's nafsani, that's from the nafs wanting to think it's special and do I get like a special recipe for me? So no, the, the recipe is that connect to the shaykh, connect to your heart, do your meditation, do your tafakkur. What Allah has in store for you is uniquely for you. The realities, the lights and tajallis that will be coming into the heart of each servant. But the servant that comes, they recite the awrads and the recitations in which the shaykhs have been given. They wear their taweezes, their protections, make their connection, do all the worshipness that Allah has, has outlined for them. And as a result of connecting, the light will begin to reflect upon their reality. And that's what's important is the ability to connect, to connect, to connect so that these lights begin to dress the soul and inspire the soul and each to their level and where they are in life. Computer programmers may get a lot of programming understanding and how programming relates to realities. Martial arts people may get a lot of information on the huruf, movement of huruf and energies. So throughout our lives this is the reality, Allah gives everybody their specialty. Medicine may have many specialties and in, in understandings of realities and related to how it's in medicine and in the body and in the, the physiology of insan. So everybody has a unique gift from Allah But the main and the just of the system is the same because the awrad burns the nafs, that's all you have to do. There's nothing unique to be given to you because your dragon is right there, your nafs is right there. The heavenly dragon is not there yet. But the, the sort of demonic nafs is, the awrad is meant to burn him. As soon as you start to recite the awrad, it's like a laser guided at your nafs, is burning it. So you don't need special bombardments and more zikrs, you just need to burn that nafs by continuously reciting the awrad, continuously reciting the, the recitations that the shaykhs have written in their apps and on their programs. So as soon as you recite those that's burning, as soon as you're making your connection that's burning. Once the nafs is being burned down then this light of the Divine can reflect from soul to soul inshaAllah. Mm, as salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam wa Can you please enlighten us on the adab and realities uh, when seeing a dead body and if one should avoid such situations? Yeah, I don't know if you should be seeing dead bodies. So the, the adab of… I don't know how many people will be coming across that but try not to be in the habit of seeing too many dead bodies as, as it may not be beneficial for you. And uh, inshaAllah make a shahada, three shahada, istighfar, pray for them. And again you know, that's very unique, if this is your relative that you're seeing then you recite Surat al Yaseen. So a very sort of personal experience, if you're walking down the street and there's a dead body, la hawla wa la illa billahi alayhi wa Inna lillahi wa lillahi rajiun. But uh, yeah, generally it's not a good energy unless this is a loved one and, and this is something that you're, you're coming across and that you have to come across. If it's a crime scene then that's, that's a difficult energy inshaAllah. Allah Subhan Rabbika Rabbil Izzat Amma Yazeeboon Wa Salaamun Al Mursaleen Wa Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Illa Sharif Al Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Wa Ali Sahabi Kiram Ulam Al Shaykhina Fi Tariqatan Ashbaliyyat Al Aliyya Fasatan Al Ruhi Man Tariqa Ifawta Khaliqa Shal Nashba Muhammad Waisi Al Bukhari Sultan Al Awliya Shaykh Abdul Faiz Al Daghestani 
دانشجو محمد نازم حقانی مانند شکشم که بانی شیخ عدنان که بانی شیخ محمد عادل عبد خالی که لخوش دوانی سلام زمان سید محمد المهدی علیه السلام روح الله سیدنا عیسی علیه السلام سیف الله سیدنا علیه السلام دوم سیدنا بکر صدیق سیدنا امه سیدنا عثمان امام الحسن علیه السلام امام الحسین علیه السلام سیداتنا فاطمه علیه السلام في بركة ولادات إمام الحسين السلام إمام زين العابدين السلام سيدنا إمام العباس السلام وسائر وساداتنا والصدقين الفاتحة السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته This is Sheikh Nurjan Thank you for watching the video that you're watching Inshallah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs our water well give the gift of life our mobile food vans, we have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.